Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday and welcome back. Today in lieu of a candle review, we are going to be talking about a candle lamp. Um, this, this is the style that I'm going to be reviewing today. There are so many different designs available for candle lamps. This one um, really appeals to me because it's just very clean looking. Um, it's not too terribly frilly and I feel like it kind of blends in with my decor and um, there are some features about this particular one that I really like. So before we get into the candle lamp, what it does, how to use it, safety concerns, all that stuff, let me just show you what I normally use to warm candles that I no longer burn. Um, it's a candle crock. <laughs> and if you watch my weekly home fragrance roundup, or you have watched my candle crock 101 video, I'm sure most of you have by this point. Um, this is a candle crock. This is what I have always used in the past with candles that have puny wicks, candles that are tunneling, candles that are sooting, candles that just don't burn how I want them to, or candles that I'm just looking to finish up faster than burning them. And the way that a crock works, I'm just gonna give you a quick, like, two-tier tutorial, if you will. Um, there is an element in the bottom that warms up, and then that heat also kind of radiates up the sides. This is insulated, obviously. And what happens is it melts your candle from the bottom up. It completely liquefies your candle. This is a Bath & Body Works candle. It fits in here. This is a Yankee candle. It fits in here. This is a Scentworks candle. It does not fit in here. Also, Homeworks candles, do not fit in here. So the candle crack does have some limitations, which is why I was interested in learning about the candle lamps. So I love my candle crocks. I certainly do not want to give up my crocks. Um, I don't think that I see myself getting rid of these and switching over to lamps exclusively, but I do think there are some things that the lamp is really great for that the candle crock can't really address, which is a variety of different shapes and sizes of candle containers. So if you're gonna ask me, where'd you get this really pretty one? I wish I could give you a link, but she sold out a long time ago on candle warmers and I've never been able to find it again. So um, the candle crocks that I link in the description box of any of my videos where I mention candle crocks, those are very neutral options, very similar to this in terms of there's there's no inspirational quotes. Like I'm not into home decor that has like sayings or words on it really. Like I'm not a Ray Dunn person. So, um, you know, I don't need a, uh, a candle crock that says be the change. <laughs> like I just, I don't like stuff like that. So I like really plain uh, candle crocks and those are what I tend to link in the description box down below. Certainly that is not an exhaustive list of candle crocks that you can get just so you know, but that's my personal preference. <laughs> that's what I recommend. But anyway, these are fantastic. I love them. I will link my candle crock 101 video in the description box down below. If you happen to have never seen it, it will give you all the ins and outs of the crock and how to use it. But today we are discussing a candle lamp and in full disclosure, uh, this was sent to me by the company from Amazon. Um, this was actually the one that I was interested in purchasing for a long time. And for whatever reason, I've had it in my Amazon cart for months. Like I'm talking like five or six months since the first time I saw this. And then the company randomly out of the blue sent me an email and said, Hey, we noticed you do candle reviews on YouTube. We want to send you one of our lamps. Um, here's the link to it. Uh, we'll send it to you and we'll give you a discount code for your subscribers to be able to use on Amazon. This discount code, by the way, you guys, it's not an affiliate thing. Like, I don't get anything if you use it. So please, purchase to your heart's content. I get nothing out of it if you use it. Um, but the code is only active until February 10th. So after that, the 15% off goes away. So if you're watching this video after February 10th, 2022, I'm really sorry. 
um, the code isn't going to be active anymore. But I will link this down below with the link where you can get it on Amazon. And then you just type in the coupon code where it asks you for the coupon code at checkout. So when I followed the link, I was like, oh my God, that's the one I have in my cart. This is fantastic. <laughs> so they, um, they sent this out to me and I've been using it for the last couple weeks. And you guys, this thing is pretty freaking genius. First off, the design overall, I think is very neat. We're gonna kind of go through some of the features here because I feel like this one is a little bit different from some of the other candle lamps that I've seen. Um, but basically the idea is you have this halogen light bulb here, this guy right here. Whoop, just gonna smack myself in the face with this thing. Um, and that warms your candle from the top down. So a little bit different from the bottom up because there's a good chance that your wick clips are going to stay in place. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. I am not going to actively encourage you to relight a candle that you have already warmed, especially if the wax has been completely melted all the way down to the bottom of the candle where you can see the wick clips. Anytime you get to that point, the, it, the wick clips do tend to, um, the glue becomes a little bit softer and there is a chance for the wick to drift. Now, if you notice that the wicks are still staying in place, go ahead and light it up. But I'm just gonna say, do that at your own risk. I just always have a policy that once I decide to melt a candle, that's it. I'm not going to relight it. One of the biggest things that I stress about candle crocks is that once you decide to crock a candle, you are done, especially with a candle crock um, in terms of relighting that candle. The wick clips on the bottom absolutely become unglued and they travel around. And if you relight that candle with that wick clip kind of sitting over here on the side, so that means your wick is really close to the glass, there is a chance that your glass can crack due to the excessive heat. Yes, it's glass that is meant to hold a candle, but it still has a breaking point. So when that crack develops, it can bust. <laughs> you not only have a potential fire hazard on your hand, which is a huge problem, but you just have a mess in general, just wax. Just, just imagine wax pouring out all over your counter, all over your coffee table, onto your floor, onto your carpet. Just don't. Like, when you think, yeah, this is gonna be a candle that I'm gonna crock, that's it. Move on with your life, finish it in the crock, and then you're done. Um, now, I have, tr I have now melted two candles with this. I would probably feel comfortable relighting this candle from Scentworks. Sorry, Elf is having a cow back here over something. I would probably relight this one, even though the wicks now seem a lot closer together, but I feel like I can still make this work because I know that the wax hasn't reached all the way down here in terms of like being melted. I haven't poured any of this wax off and we'll talk about what you do with wax that loses its fragrance because it's, it's a little different with these guys versus the croc. Buddy, you're killing me. Come on. Hey, what work to do? <laughs> filming a video. Um, so yeah, this one I would probably relight, but I'm not going to because once I make the commitment, it's done. Like I'm just going to warm this. So um, let me, uh, where was I? Sorry, distracted by dog. Let me turn this on for you guys. Um, I do have it plugged in so you cannot, see, can you see the little part right here? In the, follow the link, follow the link down below. You'll be able to see this little um, controller here. It's plugged in and my outlet is kind of far away. So this particular one here has a dimmer. So you can, and I'll show it here. Let's turn it on. Okay, so it has a timer, either one, two, or four hours, and you select by just clicking the timer until it lights up to, you know, sorry, I'm. I don't have an extension cord handy. I, I realized that that would have been much better, but um, you just click to the number of hours that you want to have this set to. And then immediately after it hits, say like the two hour mark, this turns off. So it's great in that if you leave the house and you leave this going, it's gonna turn off on its own. It also has a dimmer. So you can have this go really high or 
well, I did that backwards, high <laughs> or low, right? The minimum is basically, I don't even know why you would even do the minimum because that's like barely on. And obviously this is another feature we're gonna point out here in a second. But um, yeah, so let me turn this off because this gets pretty warm. The halogen lamp gets warm. Be careful with little fingers around this part here. It doesn't get boiling hot, but if you touch this after it's been on for like an hour or two, it is gonna feel pretty warm. It's a halogen light bulb. Those get hot, so be careful. Um, the reason this kind of swings around is because with this, there is this awesome little feature here where you can go, if you unscrew this, you can have this go down. I hear a lot of people complaining about how they cannot get their candles close enough to the halogen light bulb. Well, this is great because all you, I'm gonna smack myself in the face with this. Hang on, let me tighten it up. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> um, you can get this to go down quite a ways. Now, your average candle is probably gonna be somewhere around here. If you want to, you can certainly use a riser just uh, such as like this, which is just the cover to the um, vanilla sugar here from Scentworks, and that can certainly boost your candle up even further. But I found that you don't need to get the, the halogen light bulb that close to the candle. It's completely unnecessary. Um, this, this is just fine. This is fine. Like that's, pl that's close enough. That halogen light bulb gets, like I said, pretty toasty. So um, yeah, this is uh, th this is plenty of space. Here's the thing: if you have a taller candle, like if you are a Yankee candle purchaser, I have one of my old Yankees here. Let me take the lid off so that you can see. This, by the way, is pumpkin wreath. Oh my gosh, a 2012 pumpkin wreath. Mm, any pumpkin wreath fans? So yeah, this fits and I mean like room to spare so you can get a pretty tall candle here because this is the this is like fully extended here so um what is going to happen is once you hit that timer this thing heats up very quickly it is going to start melting the wax from the top down so that's a little different for I'm going to set this down that's a little different from the bottom up so that's why I say you could I still am nervous about recommending this, but you could still um, definitely relight the candle. The, the one advantage that I see f with these candle lamps is sometimes if you have a candle that is tunneling, so you have wax left on the outer ring of your um, container, you can just pop this under your candle warmer for like a few minutes for that all to melt and sort of like re position itself and then you can relight that candle and then you don't have that tunneling the whole way down because once a candle starts to tunnel it's pretty difficult to get it to like pull out again a lot of us have different tricks like wrapping tin foil around it which is all fine and well but it would just be really convenient just to be like i gotta fix this candle Boink, pop it under here and then you know turn it on get an even wax pool again turn it off let the wax reharden and then relight your candle. So I do think there's definitely an advantage to this with that. So that's kind of a bonus there. Um, that's not something you can do with a crock because again, it warms from the bottom up. Um, I love the fact that this has a timer on it. There is an option available without a timer, I believe, um, but I think they all have a dimmer on them. So this is, by the way, the rose gold here. I thought the rose gold was the prettiest, but they also have kind of a nice brassy gold, and then they have a couple of other different colors as well, so you don't have to get this rose gold. I just, I happen to like rose gold. Um, I actually have some rose gold accents in this room. I think I just found, I think I just found a new home for you. This is perfect. Maybe I'll put it in the background of my video, I'll probably actually just put it over here where I currently have this candle crock and I'll move that candle crock somewhere else. This is genius, you guys. I think this is really fantastic. Um, it's really easy, by the way, to change this light bulb out. You literally just pull it out um, and then you can replace it. Obviously, with this, you are going to have some replacement costs down the road in that you have to change the light bulbs once they burn out. 
I think this is a 50 watt light bulb if I remember correctly. Um, you can order the replacement light bulbs on Amazon. So, you know, if you wanna just order a couple backups to begin with, I don't know how long one of these light bulbs lasts, so I can't tell you that. Um, but let me tell you something. This thing is kind of a champ in terms of strength and throw from the candles. It's basically the same as my candle crock. So um, I have been warming my berry waffle cone from Bath and Body Works, this, this old packaging here. I've been warming this uh, every day for the last four days. I've done two four hour sessions and I still actually smell the candle when I turn it on. But once you stop smelling the candle, so once uh, the wax has kind of released all of the fragrance oils, what you can do is pour out either into another ca a candle container, like an empty one, or into a bucket if you're saving the wax for something, obviously never down your kitchen sink. I can't imagine anyone doing that, but if you, if you have just a thought of that in your head, don't do that. <laughs> You're gonna have some major plumbing problems. Never put wax down your sink. You can pour it in the garbage, whatever you need to. And then just to the point where you get to the solid part of the wax again, and then you can pop this under your candle warmer. And then obviously at that point, you'd probably want this to come down so that you could get a little bit closer to that wax again and then you just keep warming it and you do that until you get like you can't smell anything so you get to the wick clips at the bottom with your wax pool you go through that however many cycles you need to get rid of the fragrance oils that are in there and then you're done you're done with the candle that's how you know you're finished with the candle no the wax isn't going to dissipate the way it does when you burn the candle um it's just gonna stay <laughs> but what you're doing is just releasing the fragrance oils um you guys this thing is genius the quality of it just in terms of like the design i think is really nice i like the fact that you can adjust this up and down um i like the frosted shade i love this rose gold color um, I do love this really nice remote that you have here. The cord is decently long, but I mean, it's it's not like insanely long. I would say it's maybe like three and a half, four feet, somewhere around there. Um, and it's, yeah, it's built really nicely. It has little uh, pads here on the bottom so that you're not scratching your tables. Um, the, uh, the metal here is a little sharp, so I think that's why they put these little foot pads on here so that you're not scratching the surface of your table at all. Um, but yeah, I would say be careful if you have little hands in the house that are curious because not only are those little hands probably going to be tempted to dip into the wax, but if they touch this when it's warm, it might result in a little yelp. I don't think it's going to be any like serious burn issue because I'm sure they'll pull away quickly. It's not boiling hot, but it's pretty darn warm. So I would talk to your kids about, you should be talking to them about candle safety anyway. Um, that is one of the very first conversations I had with Stella once she started like kind of being curious about candles is this is mommy's. Stella doesn't touch it so and she never has like she has never messed with any of my candles So if you have not had that talk with your kids, you should This is great you guys. I I really like this I think that I might go ahead and buy one more myself just to have in another part of the house um, I think this would be nice to have in our guest bedroom as well. I might get a different color for in there um, I might get the gold one because I have a lot of gold accents in that room, but I just this is great I love that it is very high quality. I think it's gonna last for a really long time. The only thing I should have to replace is the light bulb. And um, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but I don't think it's like exorbitantly expensive. I think these retail for around $65. But again, there's the 15% off until the 10th. Um, and yeah, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I know a lot of you were very curious about my thoughts on these. I really like them. I'm, I should have bought one a long time ago because I, I could have used it a number of times just to even be able to correct a tunneling candle. I think this is kind of genius just for that alone. So if you tend to like a lot of brands like Voluspa 
and there's a lot of other brands that tunnel as well. Um, you might as well have something on hand that you can correct that tunneling with. By the way, this base here, you do have that little cutout, which perfectly fits like a Bath and Body Works. Um, the, sorry, I'm gonna have to move this up just a smidge here. The Scentworks kind of sits a little wonky, but that's okay. Like this, this base of theirs is just a little bit wider. I have just fit a Homeworks under here. It fits just fine. It sits on this area right here. So you are not sinking into this little divot. You're just, you have your candle sitting on the outer ledge here. It wasn't an issue. It'll definitely, this will, this will be a way for you to melt Homeworks candles. If, if you, are not a burner, but you've always wanted to try the homeworks, but you have never figured out a way to um, melt them, this is how you would do that. So let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments down below. Check out that description box. It's right below this video. It'll give you the discount code. Again, it's only until February 10th, and um, I don't get anything if you use it, so it's not an affiliate thing. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch today, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Tchau,